Hello friends, I'm Meghna Thomas and welcome back to our channel Golden Applets Aviation Pilot Training Academy Your Route to the Cockpit Well, if you have been following my videos you already know that we have covered topics from speed, distance and time we have done profit and loss, ages and clocks So in my video today I am going to be doing three more topics for the written exam uh, questions basically sample questions that can be expected in your maths written exam and those are ratio and proportion averages and boats and streams So yeah, if you if you are someone who is preparing for the Carrot Pilot Program written examination, get your pens and papers ready. Let's get started. So the first question for ratio and proportion is, if A is to B is 2 is to 3 and B is to C is 3 is to 4, find A is to B is to C. Now let's begin with the solution. We are given A is to B is 2 is to 3 and B is to C is 3 is to 4 and we are required to find the ratio between A, B and C that is A is to B is to C. Now this question is pretty easy because as you can see the B's here are equal. Both the B's are 3 that is A is to B here is 2 is to 3 and this is 3 is to 4. So all you have to do here is A is to B is to C will be 2 is to 3 is to 4. That is why that is because the B's at both the in both the given uh, ratios are equal but in for example if in case this 3 is to 4 here was 6 is to 8 this is just an example what would be the solution for that now let's consider this as a second type so I'm just writing type 2 now if again A is to B is 2 is to 3 and B is to C we've taken it as 6 is to 8 so how do you solve this now? Now what happens is as you can see the B over here is 3 and the B over here is 6. Find a way to make both the B's equal. So you can multiply this with whatever number to get 6. And we all know that if we are going to multiply 3 with 2 we will get 6. So let's multiply the entire thing with 2. So the new A is to B will be 2 into 2 is 4 is to 3 into 2 is 6. And the other B is to C will remain the same which will be equal to 6 is to 8. Now as you can see we have made both the B's equal. So now the new A is to B is to C is going to be 4 is to 6 is to 8. And this is your answer. So these were the two types of questions that I have showed you for ratio and proportion. Now let's move on to the next question. The next question that we're going to do is from averages. The average age of A, B and C is 28 years. If the average age of B and C is 29 years, what is the age of A in years? Okay, so we are given that the average age of A, B and C is 28 years. So let me just solve this for you over here. I'm sure you all know that averages is written as A plus B plus C divide by how many are these? That is 3, 1, 2, 3 divided by 3 which is equal to 28. This is how you write the average, right? Now, we are also given that the average age of B and C is 29 years which means B plus C the average so these are 1 2 divide by 2 is equal to 29 so we have this over here so B plus C you take 2 to the other side would be 29 into 2 which means B plus C is into 9 is 18 58 so B plus C is 58 and we're given a b and c the average is 28 so let us just substitute b and c over here we know what b plus c is so putting it there we get a plus 58 by 3 is equal to 28 this will be a plus 58 you take 3 to the other side that will be 3 8 is 24 3 to the 6 7 8 84 which means a is equal to 84 minus 58 so 26 a is equal to 26 and that is the age of a in years that's what we wanted so 26 years is the age of a that's the answer i hope you've understood this the question from boats and streams is a boat covers 40 kilometers downstream and 20 kilometers upstream in five hours each find the velocity of the current so here what you do is I would just want to show you something at first for example if this is a current and this is your boat 
if the direction of flow of current is this and the direction of flow of boat is this they are both that is they are both in the same direction that is called downstream that is the flow and the boat are in the same direction right so if the speed of the boat is y kilometers per hour and the speed of the boat is x kilometers per hour what will your downstream speed be your downstream speed will be x plus y that is your downstream now let's take the next scenario if the boat uh, if the current is in this direction and the boat is in the opposite direction so that means they both one is going against the current the boat is going against in the opposite direction now in that case the the speeds are going to cancel out and that is called upstream so upstream is where the boat and the river flow in the opposite directions they are in the opposite direction all right and in upstream it your speeds are going to be x minus y this will be your speed for the upstream so i hope uh, you guys understood downstream is because this in downstream the speed will increase because both are going in the same direction it's something like how a car goes down the hill you know it goes faster and when you go uphill you go at a slower pace so that is how downstream is downstream as you will add your current and your boat speed and upstream you will subtract the speeds all right so now let's come to the question the question is a boat covers 40 kilometers downstream and 20 kilometers upstream in 5 hours each find the velocity of the current so in this we generally uh, mostly we use the formula of speed is equal to distance upon time this is important here now let us uh, find out the downstream speed yeah we have give, uh, we are given here that a boat covers 40 km so downstream instead of this i will just make two columns here let us take this as downstream and we'll consider this as upstream so in downstream we are given the distance is 40 km so we write d is 40 km and we saw that the time taken is 5 hours each so we will just write t is 5 yeah now using the formula speed is equal to distance upon time you get it as 40 divided by 5 that means your speed is 8 8 km per hour that was for your downstream now let's have a look at the upstream now upstream the question says a boat covers 40 downstream and 20 km upstream in 5 hours so your distance upstream is 20 km 20 kilometers and your time given is again 5 hours so using the formula again speed is equal to distance upon time you will get 20 divided by 5 which is equal to 4 kilometers per hour so this is your speed for the upstream and downstream now let me introduce you to another formula because the question asks for find the velocity of the current over here you are asked for the velocity of the current so there is a formula for velocity of current velocity of current is equal to half of your speed downstream minus speed upstream so we will just substitute the formula over here i mean the uh, numbers that we have we have the speed downstream that is 8 km per hour we have the speed upstream we calculated 4 so all you have to do is put those values over here you're going to do half into 8 minus 4 that is going to give you 1 by 2 into 4 which is 2 km per hour therefore the velocity of the current is 2 km per hour so this is how you solve these questions from boat and stream well i have just done a quick solution for all these questions if you are someone who's preparing for your cadet pilot program exam or you wish to prepare for your cadet pilot program exam please do feel free to contact us leave us a message or walk into our office at golden eplets the address and contact details are given in the description box below we will continue to put more such videos and updates so i am sure you all are following us and what are you waiting for come let's fly